In part six of lecture two, we will discuss two last examples. In this example, we're going to rewrite the square program, and it will be a function that calculates the square of a value, and it will return that squared value back to the main program, which in turn will print the result. As before, we begin with import Java Util Scanner, and our class begins public class square two, an open brace. And again, we'll write this illustrates how to use methods to find the square of a value. The main program begins with public static void main string args open brace. And inside, we'll declare scanner keyboard equals new scanner system in and double value square. We'll read in the new value by typing system out print lin enter a value and then read it with value equals keyboard next double. We finish the main program by writing square equals find square value and then system out print lin quote the square of unquote plus value plus quote is unquote plus square close parenthesis semicolon and a closed brace for the method. Now we write the method find square. The comment for it calculates the square of whatever value it is given. Public static double find square, double x, and inside double square equals x times x, return square. We close a brace for the, me for the method and we close a brace for the class. What differences have we seen between print square and find square? Print square uses value parameters. It prints the square. It doesn't have to pass the value back to the main program. And given that it doesn't return a result, it has no other way of passing that value back. Find square, on the other hand, will return that value. It doesn't print the square. It passes back the value. Find square's whole purpose is to do that calculation, not to simply print it. This makes it more useful than print square was. Our last example will be a rewritten version of average three. We're going to find the average of three numbers and our algorithm is read the values, calculate the average, and lastly, print the average. This is different because we are using two separate methods here. One to read in our input and it will prompt the user and read in the input and return it back. And it will then use another method to calculate the average and return that back to the main method so it can print it. We begin with import Java util scanner. The header for the class is public class average 3c open brace again we have the comment find the average of three numbers using a function now we have the header for the main method public static void main inside parentheses string open close bracket args and after the close parenthesis an open brace we declare our three values to be averaged int value one comma value two comma value three semicolon and of course, double average semicolon, which is where we will calculate the average or store the average rather. You'll notice that after the comment, get the values, you see in bold, value one equals get value, value two gets equals get value, value three equals get value. Three calls to the same method. It's clearly going to save me a bit of writing if I'm using this many times. I now have the comment call the function that calculates the average average equals find average of value one value two value three and lastly the output statement system dot out dot println open parenthesis quote the average is unquote plus average close parenthesis semicolon and a close brace for the method now we write the two methods that it uses and in the opening comment, get value, 
prompt the user and read a value. Public static int get value, open and close parenthesis, open brace. Scanner keyboard equals new scanner, open parenthesis, system dot in, close parenthesis, semicolon. Then system dot out dot println, open parenthesis, quote, enter a value, question mark, close quote, close parenthesis, semicolon. Int x equals keyboard dot next int, open and close parenthesis, semicolon. And lastly, return x semicolon and a close brace for the method. Similarly, for find average, we have a comment that says, find the average of three numbers. Public static double find average, open parenthesis, int x comma, int y comma, int z comma, close parenthesis, open brace. Double sum equals x plus y plus z semicolon. Double average equals sum divided by three semicolon, return average semicolon. The fact that the sum is a double allows me to use three without a, without a decimal point afterwards because it'll automatically be converted to a double to do the division. I now have a close brace for the method. I have a close brace for the program. Preconditions and postconditions are things that we will pay attention to when we are dividing a program between its main method and the various other methods that we will write. A precondition is a condition that we expect to be true before we enter the method. Conversely, a post condition is a condition we expect to be true after we exit. The role is important. It is the job and the responsibility of whoever writes the main program to ensure that the precondition is met before you look to use the method in question. Similarly, the post condition is the job of the programmer who writes the method to make sure that the post condition will be true. In our example, getInt has a post condition that a value was read in and that the value is set. FindAverage has the precondition that all three variables, value1, value2, and value3, all have values.